it's a breath of fresh air seeing you here at the Viva office. I know. So what did you talk about? No, for me, it's it's very, I mean, I'm having goosebumps now, huh? It's uh -oh. very, very surreal being here. I mean, of course, Viva is such a legacy mm -hmm. institution, you know? It's one of the pillars of Filipino entertainment. They have all the biggest celebrities. Um, and to be part of it, it's such an honor. And maybe long overdue, <laughs> but it really never occurred to me until now, you know? So for me to be here, I'm just so grateful and I'm very, very excited. How did this come about? Oh my gosh. So basically I was with my friend Anne in mm -hmm. Paris last year. So we were hanging out and you know, um, she works with Warren mm -hmm. and Veronique. And then she was like, Brian, do you have someone taking care of you in the Philippines? So I'm like, you know, not really. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just, you know, she connected me, you know, with Viva and we did some, you know, um, calls on Zoom when I was, you know, at home in Sweden. And then magic happened. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. So they will be representing you for fashion shows? No, I mean, Philippine? Viva will represent me, you know, for my career here in the Philippines. That's nice. Yeah. So, meaning, do you want to expand Lalo sa Philippines? Definitely. I mean, if, you know, for example, I mean, I've already been creating content online oh. for years. And I think, you know, I want to take it to the next step. I mean, when it comes to fashion and when it comes to, you know, style and my career overseas it's quite established but i feel like i could do more mm -hmm. here in the philippines i mean I, I have a huge filipino audience on my platforms mm -hmm. so why not grow it you it, know actually it's ironic because you started here but your, i know <laughs> your audience was foreign foreign yeah but then it was like in the last what Lockdown. I think when TikTok happened, yeah, when TikTok happened, that's when you know. Na nakilala ka ng Pilipino, I know. Ni Aling Nena, I know. Diba? And, and Ate Chona. <laughs> and Ate Chona, how, how does it feel for you? Na balik tad, diba? Now for me, it actually it feels great because I, you know, when I was, you know, now that I live, you know, overseas, having a Filipino audience makes me miss home. It's my mm. only connection at home. I don't have any Filipino friends in Sweden. <laughs> You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. whenever I interact with Filipinos online, be the best of all of their comments. I'm gonna play on call sometime when I'm gonna have the time. You know, my Filipino audience is my connection to home. So why not develop it? Why not grow it? They make me happy, you know. Like even when I go here, you know, when every I go to the Philippines a couple of times a year and whenever I go to the airport, everywhere, you know, when people come up, kinda oh my god, you guys watch my content, mm -hmm. go on, you know, like it really gives me personal pleasure to connect with Filipino audiences. Uh, what does it mean to you? Because before, foreign nga yung tumitingala sa yeah. you. And now, parang finally, it's your own, di ba? I know. When did you realize that? And how, like, what does that mean to you? Na finally nangyari yun? I think it really feels special. You know, it really feels special to be recognized by your own, you know, your own people. I mean, I'm Filipino through and through. Uh -huh. Even if I have blonde hair, even if I have nail polish, I'm still Filipino to the core, you know? Nagluluto ako ng tuyo sa bahay namin sa Sweden. Uh -oh. You know, I mean, it's, it's, I'm Filipino. And, and it's just so special, you know, to feel the love by your audiences and fellow Filipino people. That's nice. It's finally, para ang laki ng audience mo ngayon sa TikTok. I hope, you know, we could make it bigger. But again, you know, TikTok really changed you know, my life in, in so many ways. You know, again, I'm just... Na established ka na of course. Of, it's, Instagram. It, it's so and, different. You know, the TikTok audience is so different. Almost everyone I know, before we we're all scrolling, scrolling, watching videos, you know? And, and for me, it's kind of like, I love it. You know what I mean? It, you know, it, videos are the future. And for me, that's why, okay, I want to create more content. I want to build on that. You know, maybe go to YouTube the next step. Um, but yeah, just really entertain more and connect with more people. Actually, because we see you with all the big Korean stars, right? Yes. Sila lo malapit sa akin, not me. Yeah. Jacob Elordi, parang feeling na friend rin tuloy namin siya. Yeah. No, I mean, it's it's so funny. You know, it's it, it, I mean, it's so funny meet, you know, when I go to all of these events, of course, because of my line of work you get to meet a lot of, you know, famous celebrities, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like natural. You spend time with them and then they also recognize you. So it's kind of like special and, and you know, it's special and to make 
my audiences feel as if they're doing the same thing, you know, I think it's a good thing. Yeah. So yung TikTok mo yung pang ano, pang, pang Pinoy? Well, TikTok and Facebook. Ang dami Pilipinas sa Facebook. I love Facebook. I'm so late, ha? So, I only joined Facebook like two or three years ago. Mm. Yeah. Pandemic time. Pandemic time. <laughs> Pandemic pa pinahanak ni Nina. Pandemic pa pinahanak si Nina. <laughs> no, umuwi po ako dito. Sino unang nag, ano sa inyo? Actually, ano pa yun, one time nagpunta po ako dito. Tapos yung mga TikTok, kasi mahilig po ako mag-TikTok live. So, madami po nagtatanong, ay, ano, Nina, yung pamasko ko po. <laughs> Sabi ko, so, and then for me naman, parang, Wait, paano pa mas? Hindi na makita pa, hindi na makita inaanak. But then, in a way, I kind of just like embrace that character. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it, it just, you know, just stuck. People call me Nina. So, ang ano kasi parang, ang social nung isang grupong fans mo, tapos, ang dami mo rin fans na, ordinary Pinoy. Na... We're all ordinary. We're all ordinary. Parang hindi naman, Nina. No, or ordinary, po, lahat po tayo yung... may problema, lahat po tayo may pinagdadaanan. Uh, We're all the same, you know. Um, it, yeah, it's, it, I, I, I get it. For example, a lot of people say, parang, ah, you know, because of fashion, you have like this certain you know, audience. A, B, C, D, E. I don't believe in all of this. It's very classist, you know. But but it's just nice to have your audience, audiences from all walks of life, you know. Kahit na, ako nga eh, parang, you, you know, pag may mga lumalapit po sa akin, parang yung iba, parang out of the sociedad or celebrities, tapos may mga, mga security guard or you know, you might, I don't know, but just like people. But for me, it's all the same. It's all the same. They all watch the content, kahit po sa Instagram, kahit po sa TikTok or Facebook. <clears throat> it's just, you know, for me, it's really special when they recognize me. Parang, oh my God, nagpinapanood niyo pala ako. <laughs> yeah. May effort ba for me to balance that content creation na parang, oh, ito for luxury, oh, ito for... Not naman. Well, not, not, not naman. Because for me, it's kind of like I'm myself. You know what I mean? Of course, minsan sa... Instagram, hindi ko pwedeng, hindi pa ako pwedeng magmaldida doon. Kasi yung mga pangkabuhayan, showcase, mawawala. <laughs> diba? So I think, you know, branding. Yeah, it, it really depends naman po kung anong platform. But, you know, again, it's all about creative storytelling. I mean, TikTok and Facebook, I feel like I'm more free. You know, pwede ako magmaldita. But at least the audiences there naman, they know it's a joke. You know, so there's always a fine line. Um, and never pa ako nangaaway ng tao. <laughs> So you know, it's it's all entertainment. Um, and I think in the beginning, in the beginning of you know of my TikTok journey, people thought it was real. But then again, over time, they all know that it, you know a lot of it is you know it's just for entertainment. Yeah, but it's it's not hard naman po to you know to separate everything. But, but you know, Instagram is always more elevated, and then TikTok and Facebook is more free. You started getting known when you were busy abroad. Sorry. When you started to be known when you. Well, I started mga 19 top of top of 20, 20, 2004, I started with a blog, you know. So blogging was my, in the Philippines when I was living here, that's my original platform. So over the years, I went from blogs to Instagram to TikTok to Facebook, kahit na late. And then hopefully this time, Thanks to Viva, we're gonna have yeah. a movie or a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's. But I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did America's. Uh-huh. I did America's Next Top Model for two years. Uh-huh. You know, I was, was in that LA. Was the last television? Yes, because I think that was. Don't forget when I did America's Next Top Model. That was 2012, 2013. Mm-hmm. So that's like 12 years ago. So you're mga 15 years old po ako non. So you know, I, I mean, at that time. My agency was pushing me to do entertainment, to do TV, and for me personally, I wasn't ready. You know, I mean, I lo- Of course, it was a it was a humbling experience to work with a Hollywood production, you know, to work with Tyra and everybody there. But I wasn't ready. You know, I mean, I wanted to build my career in fashion, which is my first love. And when we were shooting Top Model, I was, you know, we were shooting four months a year. So it's so different. But obviously, twelve years later. You know, now I feel like I'm more ready to take more challenges, mm-hmm. and it's more exciting to expand into different platforms. When did you start uprooting to Sweden, Switzerland? Well, I moved to New York, and oh, then well, I've been yeah, I moved to New York for a few years, and then when was that? 2009, 2010. From Manila. Manila, and yeah. then I went to um, Sweden in 2017. Mm-hmm. And then I've been living there, and then hopefully I'll come back in the Philippines. Wow. <laughs> you know? Because it's also by continental living. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you were saying movie. 
what movies do no, you No, that would be exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't mind doing a cameo. Oh, Viva Max. <laughs> <laughs> or Viva, Viva anything. One. Yeah, Any, anything. Yeah, anything. I think it's just it's 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 more exciting to explore what I could do with, with my personality okay. and also to challenge myself. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because also your your friendship here grew with the ma- mainstream personalities. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, you Over know, the, the social year. social media makes the world smaller. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's funny how um, I've been following a lot of these celebrities Uh-oh. here and they also follow me and then we've never met and Uh-oh. then when you see each other in real life, like you know, and I was like, "Oh my God, I've been following you for like ten years." And then you know, we just—it's—it's it's just like yeah. a natural thing, you know what I mean? It's just exciting. You were the first one in the fashion weeks, and now you know, and dami na. 